training's flying, the weight's good. Just excited to get into fight week and uh, get the job done on the 21st. I'm a fight now. It's getting like a little, little bit bigger, a little bit better, a little bit more pressure. It's what I've been used to, lads, since an early age. I believe like most fighters, most champions, most stars, they perform better under pressure. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Boxing match, didn't I? In the echo, my first fight being signed to match room. Then obviously got an injury on my shoulder and I was, I was gutted, lad. And because I sort of knew what was coming after that fight, I knew that I was going to start pushing on for titles, which obviously has come now. It was just my left shoulder was a, a little injury on it, but it gave me time to work on my right, lad. I was in the gym for, for, for a few weeks, just one-handed, just banging away with the jab, the right hook, just, just working on my lead hand, know what I mean? So that's brought this levels up. Now my shoulder's back, we've got a date, and I uh, can't wait to get back in the mix and, and just show everyone what they've been missing. Fernand Mendoza, 17-0 undefeated, he's coming to win. It's a proper fight, you know what I mean? All, all the fans who have sold tickets to is excited and I'm expecting a, a good fight off Fran. A good fight where I can announce myself, you know what I mean? And win my first title in the echo. It's my fifth fight in the echo up to now. I'm starting to feel like home now, you know what I mean? And it's just like little stepping stones, lad, which I can win my first title there. I could, in the future, hopefully win my first world title there. So if it's gone, we're going in the right direction, lad. Every, everything's coming well. I, I keep saying the echo, but we, we all know it's called the Marcus Spencer's Arena. But it's, it's just a big thing in the city, do you know what I mean? The, the, the Echo Arena is the biggest stadium that we've got. And like, I won my first ABA title there, senior ABA title there. It'd just be good to just have all my stepping stones there. I won this there, I won that there, I defended this there. Probably the best amateur to come out the city to date, you know what I mean? One of the best to come out the country. That's that's what I want to do in the pro game. That's what I believe I can do in the pro game. Like I've been working in this gym with Paul Stevenson, Anthony Humphries since obviously the age of 10. We had a little bit of time in Sheffield where I won all my medals and stuff like that on the amateurs, but we're back home now and the same journey but a bit of a different pattern, you know what I mean, in the pro games. Obviously we had that fight in March, lad, and then you just want to build on that, you want to build on that and heavy performance in the 21st of October with my first title. Yeah, I think that gets me in the rankings, the world rankings, obviously with the WBA. Fight again before the end of the year, December. That's it, just push on, stay busy, keep the momentum going. Any fighter will say they, they want to win the fight by stoppage or KO, you know what I mean? That's just standard. You know, they are saying, people say that you don't get paid for overtime, which is true, but I just want to put a, put a clinical performance on and Show everyone what the be mission sort of thing, know what I mean? And Fran Mendoza is going to bring the best out of me. I feel like it's going to be there to, to, to make me work. All my skills that I've got in the, um, the locker is going to be coming out on, uh, on, on the 21st. And it's going to be a day, it's going to be a good night.